What's up guys? PRI 2019, right? We're here with Haltech. I'm gonna show you guys the booth here in a little bit, but at first I'm gonna just actually walk around a little bit and check out some of the stuff that um, I saw up and coming for fabrication. So this is gonna be a video of a lot of cool fabrication parts that I've been looking forward to seeing in person that I've seen on Instagram and uh, YouTube and a few different places. So we're gonna kick that off with uh, our guys at uh, Pura Cup. So let's get into that. So these guys sell a lot of different cups. They also sell a bead roller, and they're uh, 3D printing actually here live at the show. You can see their bead roller. Uh, they also sell the tick aesthetic stuff, which is your purge plugs, and they have like a diffuser screen built in. And yeah, he's going to show us a bunch of other stuff here in just a minute. This is the uh, this is the new bend markout system. It marks everything out from three quarter to four inch diameter. It is a must have if you're doing exhaust systems, intake system, working with mandrel bends on a daily basis. This will save you money. This will make your stuff look like it's supposed to and meant to be. The whole system works from three quarter inch to four inch centerline radius. You got your whole your whole card cassette file in all different diameters. So For instance, this one is an inch and a quarter. Okay, so twelve. Your tube. Molly, your tube diameter, right. you set it with the dial. And, you get four of these, so this is like a lot of and your center line two. radius, you set it with you the arrow. Four. So you break one, it won't really feel too bad. You put your tube in, you put your swinger on, you can even use and you swing. And then you just mark out your angle, you take it out, and then you cut at your angle, and you know you're exactly where you want it to be on your Dude, that thing's sick. It's awesome. <laughs> Alright, who are you? Brad Harmer. My company is Tig Aesthetics. Um, we sell high temperature silicone back purge plugs. Um, all sizes. We've got brand new release from one inch all the way up to six inch. We cover everything else in between. So what's the point of having a back perch plug? You right. Know, I mean, you can use tape and stuff. So what? What's the point of I've having always yours? used tape. I've always used tape, foil, aluminum foil, and you know it leaks air around the sides. Never a perfect exact seal. So I wanted something that would seal a little better and go in and out easily, fast, and efficiently. Um, and also the diffusers definitely help with uh, spreading the argon out inside, getting all the air out. Yeah, so I just came from over at the Pura guys, and that's what they do, right? So they do the diffusers and all that's that right. stuff. That's so. right. And it take, it's got a lot of inspiration from, you know, welding cups for the screens that diffuse the argon inside, just exactly the same as, you know, a welding cup would. So we're trying to same approach, just on the inside of the tube. Uh, prevent sugaring, the titanium especially, you know, it turns all white, flaky and gross inside. Well, thanks. I appreciate you coming by, bro. All right, guys. So I came over here to the Blue Demon slash Weld Porn booth because uh, they got some really interesting stuff they wanted to show me. Um, yeah, I'm going to let them talk about it a little bit, though. All right. Hey, everybody. This is our new Blue Demon True View Pano helmet. One of the only ones on the market with three auto darkening filters. Let's see if we can trigger it here so you can actually see how clear it is. You see through it? Yep. And then the... Pretty awesome, mate. Eh? Yeah, pretty awesome. And, and, Five and sensors in the front. This is the big thing, though. The windows and the sides. Yeah. The windows and the sides are the big thing. Yep, so it's got three auto-darkening ADFs on there. It's got five sensors, digital controls, including an automatic setting. And the automatic setting will actually detect the arc and set the shade for you. Uh, it's got a cut mode, grind mode, outside grind button, 
I truly got everything. And uh, probably the best thing about this is it actually has perfect clarity. One, 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 the highest optical clarity available on the market today. True view color, $300 retail. You will not be let down. Yeah, all right. So one thing that uh, I've been seeing on Instagram that you guys are doing, and it's the bendable tungsten. So yes. Let's, let's check that thing out. All right, we actually coincidentally have a piece here, sample piece. You can see. So traditionally, tungsten at room temperature does not bend. This with a little bit of effort. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys. So we've kind of gone through uh, a bunch of the tooling and stuff that you know I've been using for a while, and it got some new stuff. Uh, you can see behind me. We're over here at Vibrant, which obviously I love using their stuff, but they have some new stuff. So I'm gonna make them talk about the new stuff. <laughs> hey guys, Greg here with Vibrant Performance. Gonna run through some uh, new product from 2020 here. Um, one of the most exciting products we have to show is our new HD alignment tool. Uh, this was designed to help the fabricator um, during the fabrication process uh, to make sure that the HD alignment tool is in its best position to offer all of the uh, great benefits that it has for uh, the charge system. So what it is is a, a quick connect V-band clamp, um, V-band band, sorry, with the alignment ferrules. And these alignment ferrules capture the HD alignment, the, the HD ferrules with the perfect gap in between them. So it provides space on the two outsides of the ferrules and maintains a gap in the middle during fabrication so that when the HD clamp is in service, it provides that full range of motion that we want out of that. Um, these HD clamps have been tested up to 500 PSI. Um, we have them in the field running 200 plus PSI on diesel applications, but we want to make sure that all that mo uh, movement is available in that clamp to um, absorb that uh, motion from the engine compared to the uh, static components on the chassis. So, great new tool for you guys. So next we have some new end tanks. These end tanks feature these nice alignment tools, alignment tabs that allow the um, end user to just quickly and nicely uh, fab up a nice end tank. The tabs can be used for tacking, but then it's just this beautiful trough that allows a nice full penetration weld and then it provides the uh, the fabricator again with multiple options either rear door side entry bottom mount um, for your intercooler needs we're going to be offering this in our most popular sizes to start um, stay tuned for uh, more sizes in the future next we have these awesome pie cuts um, a big challenge with oval tubing is bending it um, so we offer horizontal and vertical pie cuts. They come in two CLRs, um, a tight radius and a loose radius, and both uh, vertical bend and horizontal. Um, the great thing is these come in 45 degrees and they can be um, used in conjunction to get some pretty wild um, shapes and bends around some really tight spaces. Look forward to selling these a lot. Next we have this new product which is a, an oil sandwich adapter. It's thermostatic which allows the motor to heat up to uh, evaporate any moisture that's left in uh, the oil. Um, it cracks about seven, 75 degrees Celsius which is about 170 for you American um, imperial folk. Um, it bypasses to go down to the oil cooler and then back. Um, we're offering sandwich plate as well that allows you to uh, um, raise the sandwich adapter uh, for some applications. There's three kits available, the sandwich adapter alone, uh, the spacer alone which has three MPT um, ports to put pressure, temperature or takeoff for your turbo. So look for these in the future. Boy, we're we're always adding titanium to a program to grow it for you guys. Um, new this year is more bullet style resonators, uh, flanges, titanium bungs, um, everything that you guys need to uh, do a full exhaust system. Hey, Art. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. Uh, you got so close. Oh, sorry. Are you man. on a zoom lens? No. What's going on, guys? Art here from Vibe Performance. So at our booth we have, we brought it back for the second year in a row because it's such a hit first time. Our 
Anirondack chair or Muskoka chair because we're Canadian. And we have a 5,000 horsepower car that you might have seen on street outlaws. All right, guys, so I came over here to the Garrett booth and I want to show you guys some stuff. All right, so they have a few new turbos out. They're all the G series. This is a G42C, which is uh, compact. And it's good for like 1200 horsepower, pretty insane. This is their big boy for the G42, it's a 1450. And they've got this big thing here that's new, and it's bigger than anything I'll ever use. Over here is the stuff that you guys would mostly be interested in. Um, so you guys know I run a 3584RS. This is their new stuff. So my turbo was kind of the predecessor to this. This is a G35 1050. So it is like 1,050 horsepower rated in a 35R type housing and size. So that's pretty wild. Just insane. They've got a few different variants. You got this guy back here, and it is a G35 900. A little more compact again, uh, slightly smaller. But what's so impressive is they have a G25, which is like a T28, T25 type. It's good for 600 horsepower. Now, there's a few people running these guys on, I, I know somebody has one on a BBTI 1J, and he's got a popular YouTube channel, and it, it's like stock response, but it carries all the way to Redline, so that's pretty insane. They've got a G30 as well, so they're kind of going through their line, uh, like T25, or GT25, GT30, GT35. Uh, and then they've got the GT42, that is now the G-Line. But this is a GTX 30 size that's good for over 700 horsepower. It's just insane. Such, such a small turbo that's good to pump out that much CFM that it can make that much horsepower. It's all about design in here and design back there. Uh, all ball bearing, obviously, you know. Standard Garrett stuff, it's all awesome. All right guys, so uh, that's gonna be it. It's like three o'clock. I'm gonna run over, help tear down. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will say I, I am in the CNR booth. Rear mount is coming and I'm pretty sure I've found the one that I'm gonna use. So ditching the V mount, gotta keep this thing cool is what it is. They got some pretty cool products so like drift specific rear mount stuff they were showing me not going to show you guys until i'm definitely doing it but hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys soon